And members of Western New York snowmobile clubs braved the elements in December. They were rescuing stranded drivers and moving them to safety during that blizzard. I rode along with them in late December. I was showing you how they saved the lives of dozens of people, but they say with the right equipment, they actually could have done more even faster. So this morning I'm following up on their push to get that equipment and showing you how they're hoping it'll be part of the state budget. During Buffalo's Christmas blizzard, it was one of the only ways to get around. It just goes over anything. You know, I can go through eight 10 foot drifts and it's just it's just like cutting butters. Rich McNamara from the Northern Erie Snow Seekers Snowmobile Club drove this snowmobile trail groomer days on end across a western New York all but paralyzed by the snow. Rich took doctors and nurses to and from hospitals. Thanks for the ride. He also rescued dozens of stranded drivers in the Newstead Clarence area. On that Friday night, we rescued roughly 41 people. It took us about 10, 11 hours. In fact, about 250 drivers got stranded in that area. Plans have changed on behalf of the thruway authority, closing the thruway down, and it's putting a burden on local emergency managers in smaller towns where the traffic now is being pushed off the thruway onto local municipalities. So the towns of Newstead and Clarence have been working with snowmobile clubs on a plan to buy two of these heated passenger cabs. Groomers only have space for a couple of people. With a cab attached, they could fit many more. When I was picking up those 41 people, I would pass them and say, I'll be back. And that's scary for a person out there, not knowing when you couldn't see more than two, three feet in front of you. Those cabs would connect right here to the back of the groomer. They could carry 10 people plus a gurney, really cutting down on the time it takes to do rescues. And we know in weather like we saw during the blizzard, those minutes matter. Minutes could be a matter of life and death. So moving these people that much faster, it's going to save them from the frigid temperatures that we had and frostbite, hypothermia. Two cabs would cost about $200,000. The clubs in the towns are working with State Senator Pat Galvin to get them funded in the state budget. And the cost here is not that exorbitant. It's not that we're talking millions and millions or tens of millions of dollars. The plan is to base one of the cabs in northern Erie County and the other in the southern part of the county. If the funding goes through this year, the hope is to have these cabs ready to go in time for winter. Guys like Rich, who spent their Christmas helping others, say they'd do it again. And the Cavs would let them do even more next time. You know, it's enjoyable. I was out there rescuing these people. I didn't feel as like I was rescuing after the fact when you get the letters from uh, parents and um, wives uh, that you saved their, their, their family. It, that feels good.